Hello everyone. Today we will be giving you a short introduction on Microsoft Mathematics. The first thing you have to do is to, do is to get your system ready. So go to, go to your web browser and in the Google you can write Microsoft Mathematics. The first thing that will appear to you is download Microsoft Mathematics 4. You go to this page and you can download it in English from here. Another important thing is the system requirements. You can go to the system requirements and download the .NET framework and it's for free. You press on this link and this will open a new page. And you download the Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1 from here. After having your system ready, you can go to Microsoft Mathematics and you can open a new worksheet. Now let's go around the interface. First thing you have the degrees, radians and gradients for angles, the real numbers and the complex numbers, and many more functions and equations. But the most important thing is the calculus that we will be focusing on this semester. When you press on the calculus, this, this will give you a ready-made buttons for the differentiation, integration, limit, and sum and product of series. Another important thing is the sine, cosine, and tan. Now let's have real examples. For example, if you want to see the sine of 90 in degrees and you press enter, this will give you 1. What if you want to see the cosine of 45 and you press enter? This will give you root 2 over 2. What if you want to use the button? So you can press on 10 and you can see the angle 45 as well and this would give you 1. Now let's move to the limit. What if you want to see the limit of a function as x cubed when x goes to 5 and you press enter? This would give you 125. What if you want to see the limit of a more complex function, for example, when x power 2 plus x minus 2 over x power 2 minus x when x goes to 1? This would give you 3. Now let's move to the plotting. What if you want to plot a function you already have? For example, if you want to plot in 2D, you, you write plot 2D, for example, of sine x and you press enter, this would give you the graphing of this function. Okay, what if you want to plot in 3D? You write plot 3D x power 2 plus y power 2, for example, and you press enter. This will give you the function in 3D and how it looks like. Now let's have a look on the differentiation and integration. If you want to, to get the derivative of a function, you press on this button and you can write x square plus 1. Enter, this will give you 2x. So let's have a derivative of more well-known functions. For example, the derivative of cosine x this would give you negative sine x. What about the derivative of sine x? And you press enter, this would give you cosine x. Now let's have a look on the integration. So this is to integrate without an, a range and this is to integrate with a definite defined range. For example, if you want to integrate when the lower limit is 1, goes to 5, and your function is x power 5 plus x plus 1, for example, this would give you 2620. So this was a brief introduction to Microsoft Mathematics. What if you need help and there are some functions that you are not familiar with? You can go to the Microsoft Mathematics Help, like this file, and then Help, Microsoft Mathematics Help. And you write in the function which you want to search for. For example, in the search field, you can write Limit, if you don't know how to write it. Then list the topics, and then you can choose Limit from here, and then Display. 
This will give you all the important things that you need to know about the limit and how to deal with and the syntax how to write it in Microsoft Mathematics. If you need extra help, then you can go back to, to your TAs. And thank you so much.